Well, good afternoon, Crossroads DP checking in from Laramie. We're gonna try something a little different today. Just show you how we live out here. Uh, disconnected from what most of you guys are. We're uh, we can call it off grid. We can call it what we want, but but uh, we're, we call it blessed. That's what we call it. Uh, today is a little laundry chore day, so this is our wash machine here, and we fill it up with. Oh, anywhere from five, seven, eight gallons of water, and it washes. Uh, it runs off our battery, our solar battery in the van here, and uh, we fill it up with this hose here. Got a switch here, and it'll pump lots of water. Got our white soaking in over here, bleach. But uh, and to show you some some important things we have. Uh, we, we carry 150 gallons of water, 350 gallon water tanks. Uh, we're blessed to have water close by so we can do laundry here. We don't have to go to town for that. And uh, that helps helps us tremendously not having to go to town. And the things we, we keep, this is basically the garage in the back. We get water, water pump. Uh, we've got a little system here we can charge our phones with. We've got a cigarette lighter here. And this also tells the power of the, of the vehicle battery showing uh, 13 volts right now so <clears throat> it's always good to know how your your vehicle battery is doing out here very important when we're out here out in the middle of nowhere that our vehicle battery stay in good and charged and some of the tools we, like we keep with us voltage testers 110 220 volts we got 12 volt testers here very important another good thing is to have a wrench to, to tighten up your hitch ball we check that every time we take off. Always want to make sure everything's tight down there. We don't want to lose our house. And uh, uh, as far as the vehicle goes, carry an extra serpentine belts with us. We, you know, we had the vehicle maintained, but just in case something happens, we got an extra belt. Worst come to worst, we can get that changed out. But uh, tire pressure gauge, very important. Uh, Roads get hot out here, you know, we, we typically drive from 8 o'clock in the morning until noon and we're usually parked, but on the days we go farther or it's hotter in the day, it's very important to keep your tire pressures up. I also have an infrared sensor, or an a infrared, what I call it, ray gun, shoot the wheel bearings, brakes on our, on our camper, and on, our, on the van, make sure everything's staying within reason for temperatures. Again, get a lot of preventative maintenance out here because uh, we don't want to break down out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, this is a power cord I'm running the washing machine with right now. It's uh, 120 volts running off our our Blue Eddy uh, solar battery, and uh, it's making sun power right now. We got lots of sun out here. Uh, one of the tools we keep with us: air compressor. Uh, you come out and you have a flat tire somewhere. You know, we we uh, always want to be able to blow our tires up instead of having to change it right there in the spot. Drive it into town somewhere and get it fixed. But, uh, with our laundry, we use duffel bags. We don't use baskets. Baskets take up too much room. And uh, duffel bags we can shove in the corner, under the bed, anywhere. It helps out a lot. Uh, when we hang out our sheets, we've got a telescope and clothesline. We'll tie this anywhere we need to tie it to. That works great. And, uh, over here is a, a, a tire plug system for plugging a tire if I had to. Something new we just had in the last six months is a chainsaw. We get in some of these places and there's a tree around and uh, well we get, at least we got a battery chainsaw. We can uh, we can uh, chop it up within reason and of course when the laundry gets done and spun out on this side it'll spin out to just about dry and we hang it over here in the rack and with this sun we have out here clothes will, most clothes will dry quicker than they will in a dryer but, uh, that's about everything there I've got grease guns there and scrub brushes and, and we'll go over here and start moving you around a little bit see what else we see we're uh, charging Teresa's bike right now that's getting a good charge and again, it all comes from the sun power. And for all you people that are looking at solar, solar is great for your homes. Make sure you get batteries. 
with your systems uh, for when the power does go down and you know, it does sooner or later that uh you've got some kind of battery system this is one of our this is our first battery system this is a blue eddy uh, 2400 uh let's see it's two or 1000 watts it'll put out so it'll run a uh, small microwave uh, runs our washer uh, several small appliances and, and one inside our tiny home is is for the uh, toaster oven and that one puts out 2,000 watts but, but uh, uh, for the home solar systems uh, it's great to have solar but if the power goes out and you don't have any well you're out of luck until the power comes back on when you buy storage this is how this is how you have power when the power goes out and there's a wide variety of of uh, solar systems and batteries to get and speaking of batteries here's a little booster charger here if somebody leaves their lights on I, I just uh, I'm charging it up right now so it should be full let's see here uh, yep we're full charged this will jump V8 engines this little uh, with this little booster here. It's just a little pocket pocket battery, lithium. Got lots of power, and it'll jump start a car, and uh, get you out of trouble if you if you have problems. But uh, what else we got going on? Oh, we got some tools. I finally got a little organized. Got some tools hanging up, basic uh, power tools that I use, and uh, drills, little sawzall. Got a grinder down there, skill saw, and. Uh, Everything's battery except the grinder. There's no need to buy one. I don't use it that much. So works good on. Uh, I can run this off the Blue Eddy right here. Keep our hammers with us and uh, hatchet right there. And I hear something flapping. Oh yeah, we got old Glory going up here. Try to put that up every day as long as it's not too windy. But I don't want to tear it up. I just got it. But anyway, uh, something else we use. This is something. Kind of special i'm bringing this out <laughs> doesn't seem like much to most people this is where we we keep our our trash in small little grocery bags and then we put it in this bag it's airtight watertight and clip it so uh keeps the odors out keeps the flies away that works great it's uh, just something simple doesn't have to be anything extravagant out here and uh with this Ryobi system, we have all these Ryobi batteries. That's uh, wireless speakers. We got a couple of them. That works great too. And oh, just got a new roll of duct tape. I tell you, no sponsor here, but this Gorilla tape is awesome. If you put it on your arm, it'll peel the skin right off. Let me carry electrical tape. Got to get some more of this. This is tie wire. It's used in the concrete business, but I use it a lot around here too. Uh, all kinds of things to tie up comes in a big roll very inexpensive keeps I keep it for about a year these are little uh, twisty big twisties and uh, you uh, anchor things down they come in real handy too and, uh, here's a little additions I did here just recently putting all my chargers together and my batteries and uh, makes it handy when you just want to grab something I used to have everything packed in the, in the van here and just too much to, to get one thing out. You have to unload everything else. So this comes in pretty handy. I'm getting all my chargers up there. And, and uh, yep. But uh, drivers and drill bits. So again, I don't have to go diving in my toolboxes for, for that stuff. But uh, yep, we sure loving it here in the woods. It's uh, There's lots of woods around. You just got to go off the beaten path to find them. Being high desert up here, it's it's uh, a lot of flat land, and of course we're right in the mountains, you know, over eight thousand feet. But yeah, again, there's that solar or that uh, drying rack. We dry clothes real quick. We even got some clothes pins, and uh, got some solar lights over here. This is our night lights, and uh, we use they just come on at night when the sun goes down. It's a little little. Uh, folding table I use here for clothes and there's my son Solomon he's out there just wanting to do something looking for his ball as always this is part of our outdoor kitchen of course we do most of our cooking outside 
This is the fuel tank for our heater. Up here in the mountains, it does get cold at night, so we use that as needed. A storage box back here. This has got our generator down and below here. Got a 3,500 watt electric start generator. Use it very little. It's only got about 12, 14 hours on it in the four years we've been out here. This used to be a box I kept my smoker in and uh, decided to get rid of that. Now we just use our water jugs in here and keep them out of the sun. We keep uh, typically 15, three jugs, so 15 gallons of water for a drinking water. And that aids our, our uh, needs there real good. And my, we got a wonderful fire pit here. But it's, I went out and found a bunch of wood and chopped it up. But uh, we've done some cooking out here too on that grill and, and had a good time with that. But things are getting to dry. So I gotta, gotta call the uh, uh, forestry tomorrow and see if we can still have a fire. But this tent here is a blessing. And I don't know. I'm looking at my, my, my wife's telling me to look at the dog. He's doing what dogs do. But this, yay, bud. You want to get in the picture? Is that you? Got your butt. But uh, this tent here has been a wonderful addition for us. And uh, it's not great out in the sun because it does get hot. But once the sun starts going down or, or in the mornings, it's great. And, and uh, depending on the temperatures. And we, we've got a, a mat in the bottom there too. So it makes it real comfy. And this is like our big porch. And we've got a... They have man cave, my, my ride says. Bella's looking for fries. We got a little uh, fire pit here we bring out, propane fire. For when uh, the law says we can't have a wood fire, we'll have a propane fire. And that is legal from just about everywhere out here in the West. When it There's gets dry, spark. no sparks, and you can be turned off right away. There's no no fires to leave. And, uh, yep, here's another one of our outdoor speakers. And uh, that works great with the phones. We want to hear some... Some preaching or some music and we've also got wire power out here running these lights these are great great night light out here and they're led and uh or as the rednecks call them lead lights <laughs> I, I i got a laugh when i heard that but uh these lead lights don't draw any power at all so they're great when you're on solar you'd work inside your house or or outside when when the power's off you got great lights I'm trying to back out here gracefully. And uh, there's my bride. She's out here in the shade with our pup. Hi, honey. Hey, baby. And uh, faithful dog. companion, Bella. Hey, girl. And nice Teresa's is over here. The, the tent's a little hot, but and the sun's going down, so she's behind this tree. And that's the blessing out here when you can find shade. Perfect, she says. Perfect. Mama's hat. Oh, nice kisses from Solomon. Yep. Can you kissing me too? Okay. But uh, it's it's real important to find shade if you can out here. Being over 8,000 feet, we're closer to the sun than we've ever been. Just about. That's we we've been. Are. And I'm getting a little bit of a tan. She's working on it, a little bit at a time. A little bit. And and. Uh, Speaking of tan, I just got back from the dermatologist today, and praise God, very middle, minimal uh, scorch today in the face. Nothing in the... Freeze. They freeze. Yeah, they freeze them. And uh, it's uh, it's better than getting cut on, and it, it stops all the precancers. And both got cut on. Yep, we've got our stitches from the past, but praise God, we, we come out pretty clean this time. Thank you, Lord. But, um, oh, it's nice. The breeze has calmed down. And, uh, yeah, and uh, here's the other side. We got more solar panels over here. This is the original solar panels we put on this tiny house. And uh, see, there's 660 watts there. Was it two years ago you put them on? Yeah, a couple of years ago down at Quartzsite. Brother Jim helped me put them up there. And uh, works out well. And got the air conditioner. We have used it a couple times, running off solar. It's a little one, but it does it draws a uh, 500 watts, so it certainly works good in our system. And we've got a rotary antenna up there that works great. We get uh, 15, 30 channels, 30 channels really. 
Yeah, so all around the share me and or share a combination Laramie and share me Cheyenne Cheyenne and now uh, we get some Colorado We get some Colorado channels too Yeah, they're twins And we do have some game paths around here. You never know it's gonna come out of the woods And we got a paths over here And we got some more paths back there This is where the this is the lowest spot in this area, so eventually the rainwater comes down here, and that's why we got so many trees. And um, this will be pretty in the fall, all these leaves changing. We got some different kinds of pines around here. And, uh, yep, well, what else is going on here? I think that's about it. Of course, this is our, our latest addition, this solar here. We're 750 watts. And uh, I'm not completely done with it. Kind of tucked the wires away. And what we're going to do here is I've got a switch to put inside. And right now we're facing south. So we'll get morning sun on this panels. And afternoon sun on the other. And I've been unplugging and changing the wires over as needed. But uh, I'm going to have a, a switch inside hooked up. So I can just sit in my chair and turn it from... This side or the other side or both, and uh, and uh, yep. So that's what's going on here. Praise God, as always, we get to do this, and uh, and uh, I just thank everybody for watching and for all the new people watching. You know, we're getting some more subscribers, so we thank you, thank you, thank you. And we just have a simple channel with a simple life, showing uh, what we're doing out here. And we're going to end with Proverbs. I think uh, works good for today, every day. Proverbs 21, 23. Whoever guards his mouth and tongue keeps his soul from problem, problems, troubles. <laughs> we know that. And uh, we don't always have to speak. God says first to listen. And uh, just listen. People, people need to be heard, but they don't always need to be told something. They just want to speak and say their piece. And that's, that's okay. But uh, anyway, well, we'll let you go. And we thank you all for coming with us today. And as always, uh, if you would, give us a thumbs up. Leave a nice comment. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll see you down the road. We pray for God's peace with you and your family. And thanks you again. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.